Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to recreate JLo's makeup look from the Golden Globe Awards. I absolutely loved this look on her. In this tutorial, I used all affordable makeup brands that you can get either online or in store, especially in Australia because obviously that's where I'm from. Um, the only thing that I didn't use that was drugstore was my eyebrows just because I don't like to use anything else other than Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you want to know how I created this look then please keep watching. Okay so the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 in 1 foundation. Um, I did a first impression of this, it should be up on my channel. I'm just going to apply it with this brush. For concealer, I'm just going to take my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour concealer in the colour Ivory and just highlight my under eyes with it. So to set my concealer in place, I'm just going to take the banana shade on my Damp Beauty Blender from the Astralis Contouring Kit. Um, I saw this technique on Nikki Tutorial's like recent photo and it actually works. It doesn't make my concealer under my eyes crease whatsoever. So in the picture of JLo, she obviously has fake tan and I'm pretty fair at the moment. So I'm just going to be taking my L'Oreal Paris Glam Bronze bronzer thing. And I'm just going to take this kind of medium sized stippling brush. I think it was from eBay. But I think it is Real Techniques. And just place it on my cheekbones and blend, blend, blend. Okay, so now that the base is done, I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder. So her eyebrows are quite light in the photo, so I think I'm going to use my Taupe Dip Brow. I'm not quite sure how this is going to look because my natural brows are quite dark, so... Um, and I really, really need them waxed on the ASAP. So I'm just going to take that same concealer that I use under my eyes to kind of make them look a, a bit thinner. So now that my brows are done, I'm going to do the rest of my face. So because she has really sun-kissed sort of cheeks, I'm going to use my Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for darker skin. Um, you can get this from Priceline. I'm pretty sure this was like $5. Did I say it was Essence? Yeah, it's Essence. So like really, really super affordable um, brand. So to contour, I'm going to be using my Chi Chi Face Bronzer in the shade Bronze Me Up. It's just a matte bronzer and I'm going to use that to contour today. If you don't have a brush like this, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in an old video, just get any sort of fluffy brush that you don't use anymore and just with two bobby pins, just stick them on either side of the brush and it kind of just makes a contour brush and then for the bridge I'm gonna take my Australis contour kit and just using that um, matte color I'm just gonna be popping that down the bridge of my nose tapering I'm just gonna take this highlight brush and just using the highlight from this kit I'm just gonna highlight my cheekbones Cupid's bow, bridge of my nose, 
up on my forehead a bit, just underneath my brow, above my brow, a bit on my chin. So that is the face complete. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes. So I'm just going to apply my Essence I Love Stage Eye Primer. You can get this from Priceline as well and it was I think $5. So bargain. Okay so I'm just going to do one eye off camera and come back and do the other one. So I'm just going to be grabbing this colour here. It's number 13 on a big blending brush and just dusting that into my crease as a first transition shade. So next I'm going to be grabbing this really beautiful glittery plum purpley color. It's in the shade 25 and I'm just going to be grabbing that on a fluffy brush and dusting that just above my crease because I can see that JLo kind of has a smoky kind of purple in her upper crease area. So once that's blended, I'm just going to be taking my Coastal Scents Go palette in the color Cairo. I got this in one of my Bella boxes. Um, I'm not sure where you can get this. I'm guessing CoastalScents.com. I'm just going to be grabbing this really dark gray color. Of course that's got to happen, I'll clean that later. I'm just going to grab the same fluffy brush and blend those two colours together. So now I'm just um, putting my Rimmel Scandalize black eyeliner in my waterline and my tightline. I pretty much just poked myself in the eye before. That is why my eyes are red. So now that my upper eyeshadow is done, I'm just going to be taking that same grey colour from the Coastal Scents palette and running that just on my lower lash line and smudging that black eyeliner down. Now I'm just taking number 13 from Morphe and smoking that line out just so it's not as harsh. And now I'm just going to take more of that purple colour from the Morphe palette and also apply that onto the bottom lash line. So now I'm just going to curl my top lashes and apply a coat of mascara. I'm just using the Maybelline um, Colossal. So the lashes that I'm going to be using today are the LA Mink lashes in the style Independent. They are the, literally the most amazing lashes ever. They last like 30 to 40 wears on me because I'm really gentle and take care of them really well. So on to lips, I'm just going to be using this BYS lip liner. I don't think you can get these overseas, but it's a really, really cheap Australian brand. Um, I don't think that Lime Crime is considered high end because their lipsticks are like $20 each so I'm just going to use this one because I don't really have any other kind of drugstore lipsticks that match the colour in the JLo picture so I'm just going to be using Coquette by Lime Crime. And then I'm just going to pair that with a kind of nudie gloss by Chi Chi Cosmetics. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also if you have any other video suggestions please comment down below because I'm kind of running out of inspiration. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. I wanted to mention I bought this L'Oreal Palace, Palace, L'Oreal Palace.
seriously, 